To create an auto resend campaign, from your dashboard, go to the top right drop down menu over here and just click auto resend. You can also do the same thing by creating a campaign, then clicking auto resend or going to campaigns and doing the same thing here, either from the drop down, auto resend, or click create campaign. After clicking create campaign, just go ahead and click auto resend here and you'll have three options. And here are what they do. The first option is email subject. So you will send two emails. One email will go out and if someone doesn't click or open that email, depending on what you set, another email will come out. Well, actually the same email will come out again, just with a different subject line. The second, op the, the second option here is the first email will come out and then if someone doesn't click or open it, the next email will come with a personal message and it will look like it's forwarded from you. Okay. Now the third option is the subject and email content can be changed. So the first email can go out and it will have one subject line and then the second email can either have the same subject line or it can have a different subject line and also you can change the whole email itself. Now my favorite one and I think the most powerful one is email subject and personal message and that's what I'm going to choose this time. I'll call these webinar event and webinar event. I want to keep them the same because the second email that goes out, like I said, with that personal message will add something like, like this to the beginning. So it, it will look like it's forwarded from you as a reminder. So I'm just going to delete that because that's going to be added automatically. Of course, if you want, you can change these subject lines, but I want to keep them the same. So, so then the person who gets that personal message knows which, which message, which email I'm actually forwarding to them. Then I click content. Now you can of course choose your editor of choice. I'm just going to go with the drag and drop editor here. Edit the email to your liking and once you're done just go ahead and click edit B version. And here is that simple message. I'm just go, going to go ahead and paste a really simple message. Hey, did you get that last email with the webinar dates? You can personalize this if you want. Use personalization. Use the name. If of course you have the name of your subscribers in, in your database, then it will say, hey, the person's name. Did you get that last email with the webinar dates? Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click done editing. And I'm going to choose a, a list. I'm going to, I'm going to send it to all of them this time. And I'm going to click next review and continue. There we go. Now you can choose didn't open the email or didn't click a specific link in the email or didn't click anything in the email. Okay, I'm just going to stick with didn't open next review and confirm. And here is the overview of these two emails. The first one, the subject line, the second one is the same. Of course, you can edit that info here and you can edit each single parts of these things like the, the recipients. I just added uh, a moment ago uh, the auto recent settings. If I want them to send the second email to the people who didn't click something in the email instead of opening the email. And of course, the, the, you can edit the content of both of these emails. Now, this is how the first email will look. That's just the first email. Here's the mobile version. Of course, the URL you can share is over here and you can save it as a PDF here. Let's just click close, uh, click and close that. And let's go ahead and click preview here. And this is that second email that will go out, right? Here is your personal message. And right under that personal message will be that first email that you already sent out, sent out. And of course, like I said, the subject line will be a little different. It will say it will be like it's it will look like it's forwarded from you to your recipients. Then you just go ahead and click next schedule. You can send it now or send it later. Let's go with later. Let's go with tomorrow. And then you can instead of you can send it one day after that first one goes out. It, this will happen automatically. Or if you want, you can choose another date. You can wait two or three more days, but I'm just going to uh, leave it send after one day. OK, now just go ahead and click schedule. And there you go. This is the out box. Tomorrow this email will go out and a day after the email goes out, another email will go out to all the people who haven't opened that this first email. And like I said, it will look like it's a message forwarded to them saying, hey, you know, did you notice that email? Um, one last thing before I go, I just wanted to let you know don't overuse this. 
only use it for very, very important uh, events or if you really, really need to catch the attention of your subscribers. Because what happens is if you overuse these kind of things, people will get used to them and then it won't work as well uh, in the future. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. And as usual, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again, and see you in the next video.